Does this video have an underlying message? Is it in fact a commentary on the overconsumption and spoiledness of America's youth and the loss of independence of today's society? Maybe. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of YouTube Explained. My name is Vinny and as you probably could tell, we're looking at Jimmy Pizza. But really quickly before we get into that, let me just say a thing. Check the description down below for a link to tpublic.com as well as the YouTube Explained t-shirt store. Some very cool stuff over there. Also, another thing, if you did not see it, then I just made a new channel trailer for YouTube Explained. I'm actually pretty happy about it, I'm pretty proud, and big thanks to John Bailey for making that happen. His link will be in the description down below, and I highly recommend you go check out his channel and the um, epic new YouTube Explained trailer. YouTube Explained. So without further ado, let me explain. Gimme Pizza is featured in the 1995 straight to VHS film, You're Invited to Mary Kate and Ashley's Sleepover Party. The original video consists of Mary Kate and Ashley along with their three friends trying to create their ideal pizza using ridiculous, ridiculous topics. I'd eat that pizza. Today the film has experienced a resurgence in popularity being regarded in an ironic fashion due to its campy nature. So yes, the video was slowed down and went viral due to its very creepy nature. And yes, in fact, this is a girl. But is there more to this video than the average YouTube viewer is missing? So the film was destined for pre-teens and I'm pretty sure that the director never ever thought that this would become some creepy meme on the internet in like 10 years. And I very much doubt he was thrilled to be working on such a project. So maybe he had a little fun with it. Maybe he made it a little bit more interesting. The girls order a pizza over the phone and not just a pizza, a super giant pizza. A super giant pizza that they demand to have nothing on top of it. They want it ASAP and within seconds the pizza's there already. The whole premise of this video is that the girls add more and more toppings to the pizza making it more and more absurd. Whipped cream, fish, ice cream, you name it, it's, it's on it. I put it in the pizza. Put it in the pizza. Even if this video was not intended to be a social commentary, it may in fact be one anyway. The special treatment the girls receive, the disgusting waste of food. Could this be a critique on the way American society works? The fact that everything's available to you with minimal effort and it's okay to overindulge and waste necessities that other people are dying without in other parts of the world. I'm just saying, if I was Kim Jong-un, I would totally use this video as an example of American, American greed, greed and laziness that will lead to the destruction, the destruction of their, their fat, fat imperialist country, country by the by military, military might, might of true Korea. <laughs> And we see this more than ever today with services like Uber who pretty much eliminate the need to have a car or even know how to drive. I mean, there are services out there that will literally go and do your shopping for you. I mean, come on. I totally understand why people use these sorts of things and I know why they're popular and successful, but like, I don't necessarily agree with it. At what point does our society become completely automated and people no longer have to cook or clean or drive? apart from the select few who control the automation. People talk about the fact that we're not independent anymore and that we can no longer survive in nature. We don't know how to build a shelter, we don't know what's poisonous or not, we would pretty much just die out in the woods. So who's to say that soon enough we will forget the basic skills we know now and we will no longer be able to function in even a basic form of society without automation and availability at a press of a button. Personally, I'm pretty optimistic. I don't think people will let themselves become slaves of automation. I don't think that we're all going to become, you know, those fat people from Wally. -E. Having said that, you, yeah you, how would you react if the device you're watching this video on right now disappeared and the internet access that you were so used to having just went away? Think about that. So that's about all I have to say. I doubt that the intentions of the creators were anything but to make money, but still, there's something to talk about here. We've started a discussion about things that are present in our society today and a real topic that we need to think about. That's a win in my book. So with that, thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to leave more suggestions for YouTube Explained in the comment section down below, along with your opinions. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. The links are on screen and in the description 
down below. If you enjoyed this, then feel free to go check out other episodes of YouTube Explained. I do them every single Wednesday, so my name is Vinny. This just got explained. I'll see you next week. In a world shrouded in mystery and confusion, one YouTube channel searches for the answer to the ultimate question. What the f Hopefully this video doesn't suck, but uh, this is what this channel is for. Uh, Vinny, uh, it's for, you, you know, you, you hardcore fans. You know, you guys can kind of see what's going on in my world. Uh, that, um,